Um, if you could look at the mind of a high school senior, it'd be like watching a one-man circus act. A man would be juggling nine different objects, spinning a bounce point on his nose, all while playing a jig on the manga. This is ludicrous. Much like the better of your average student. With college going up each year in price, as a competition for jobs and grad school spots grows, it's just not as easy as it was for our parents. That's a fact. When we stand back and review the last four years of our high school career, we've had quite the roller coaster ride. Freshman year. Most of us were pretty shaky walking the halls of the grade seems high. Others of us walking apart, a chance to get a new name for themselves. Seniors were a lot bigger back then, or so we thought, and finals seemed to be a much bigger deal. We grew up a lot, tried new things, and definitely got an eye on there. But I don't think any of us could have imagined what, where we'd end up today. Sophomore year. We had a year under our belts, no longer the small guy on campus. We jumped on the chance to pick on the new freshman. Clicks began to form, freshmen started, or friendships started to shift, and we finally started to get a taste of the real world with our new jobs and cars. Junior year, we were halfway there. Halfway to a goal that most of us couldn't even imagine. We'll just call this year the year to grow up and get stuff done, so senior year we can play just a little bit more. Senior year. Now this is the most profound and eccentric of all our years. The year when we blossom to young men and women, and if our parents are lucky, mature just a little bit. <laughs> students are taking standardized tests, not once, but twice, three and sometimes four, just to get into the college of their choice. We were once three sport athletes, we're now playing one sport, if any, because we are too busy working before the tuition of college. One girl is desperately searching and applying for every scholarship she can, because she knows her debt will surpass the normal four years of education. An athlete may be putting together his or her best highlight tapes in hopes of getting recruited by a coach somewhere out there. A musician is picking up her or his instrument, heading off to audition for one last chance to impress the judge. While some of us are desperately trying to figure out where all the time went in this graduation year, we still have no idea what or where we are going after this year. For some, it's a lot different. A whole new light as we leave high school and enter the world of industry, of industry and business, because college is not in our path. Perhaps maybe it's simply it's just not for us. We'll now have to search for a job from which we'll be able to support not only ourselves, but a family in the near future. And some will look to the military as our calling in life and fight for our country bravely, live and start their lives wherever our country takes them. There's one thing I've realized about growing up. Life is not always happy and giving. Opportunities are not given, they are earned. Friendships are not bought, they are made with laughter and tears. The wise are not always rich, and um, the best person does not always come out top, the strong does not always live. Um, and success does not always come to those who work hardest. But life has proven over and over again that it's a game of both faith and chance. We've all heard the expression, out in the real world. Whether it's been from parents, coaches, or teachers, usually warning us that we cannot continue our current behavior in the near future. How right they were. High school has been a safe haven for some, though they may not realize it, and perhaps a bad and painful time for others. As for myself, it's been an incredible series of memories I've enjoyed at every moment of it. Even a lot of the staff here at Students High has certainly made my last four years a little memorable both in and outside the classroom. We grew up a lot over these past four years, though. From our first class to our last final just a couple days ago, friendships were broken, but the new ones always followed. Tears were, not, tears were shed, but the laughter was always heard. Some of us had our hearts broken, or perhaps did the breaking. Some fell out of love, some fell in, in love, and others, as myself, we still got plenty of time. <laughs> Some sought answers to deeper meaning, and others sought God himself. But one thing is for certain, and that's that we have all come in impressive ways since freshman year. For the class of 2008, you have been a giant blur of memories for me. When I take a step back and see what we have accomplished, and the students that are here in front of me today, we have the musical geniuses and the academic whizzes, which are going to represent us so well in prestigious colleges, as well as the phenomenal athletes that have competed so well over these past four years. I know some will even continue to compete in the next few years. Quite a few of my friends are joining the military, and I wish only the greatest luck to their future assignments and services. How about the people that have been there to brighten our days? Sometimes even the smallest thing is a smile can brighten my day. We may not hang, hang out outside of school, or at least not very often, but we make sure to acknowledge each other in the halls. Whether it's a short conversation about life to a mere handshake, but it's enough, enough to keep us going through the day. The fact that students high school of this creates a pretty neat group of people. We've learned a lot from each other over the years, and much of what we take with us as we walk out these doors tonight will not be what we've learned in our algebra or English classes, 
but instead what we learn from each other both in and outside of school. The memories we have and the lessons we learn are all we need for our next chapter in life. So let's go make the best of what life gives us and remember we were great in 2008. Just one last time, Raiders, what is your profession? Oh.